George together and never to be separated again. And never to be separated, never, ever again. But the catch is, we're on a time limit, a very stressful time limit. What is that time limit? You're basically my 90 day fiance. Yep, I could only be in South <laughs> Africa legally for 90 days. So she was literally my 90 day fiance. And we love that show, by the way. <laughs> I found that show. I'm the fan of drama shows. Yeah. We, we've seen a few comments of people telling us that we should be in that show, but I don't think we have enough drama. Well, I'll check season nine. What? Kidding. <laughs> so I have my beautiful 90 day fiance right here. Look at her. Look at that melanin. She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't all sunshine and flowers. Yeah, it wasn't easy. We were on a time limit, and that time limit was 90 days. As an American coming into South Africa, I can't just go and stay there forever, right? Get there and marry you. Or get, get there and marry you. It's not an easy process. It's not as easy as that. So what I had to do was I had to go to a U.S. Embassy, which is in Cape Town, about four hours from George. And I had to get a letter that was signed and notarized stating that I hadn't been married previously because mm -hmm. South Africa doesn't have the US records and so we had to get like an official document saying that mm -hmm. and then we had to go to home affairs and show <laughs> them that so that we could get continue the process there well home affairs for non-South African um, viewers it's basically a government site in South Africa that deals with um, birth certificate, passports, birth certificate, IDs, and, and IDs visas, and yeah, all passports, all, all that stuff yeah um, so, yeah, Christian had to set up an appointment with somebody from Home Affairs. Yeah, an immigration officer. And for him to be able to get married in South Africa with a South African. Um, but we experienced so much drama with that. Oh my gosh, Home Affairs <laughs> is literal hell on earth. <laughs> I think any South African can agree. That place, it's always busy. <laughs> always full, always packed. And the, there was probably like a, like the one guy knew what he was doing when you first get in there, mm -hmm. but everyone else I feel like they don't know what they're doing. They're just pretending. Yeah, okay, like <laughs> every time when we went there, because Christian had to set up an interview with an immigration officer. Yeah. Um, there was a home affairs, so we had to meet up with him, and he had like to interview Christian and find out more about him and if he has, was married here, um, and all of that, and all of. And to see if like our relationship was legitimate, legitimate, right? And, yeah. yeah. So whenever we went there, the person was never there. We would go to home affairs. They'd be like, oh, he, he'll be here in the morning. We go the next day, not there. Oh, he'll be here in the afternoon, I promise. We go there, not there. It's like, what the heck? Y'all just saying stuff to us. <laughs> and whenever we meet with a certain person, they tell us a different story every yeah. single time. Nobody tells you a straight thing. Like, this is what you have to do. This is how the process works. We always heard like different all the time. It literally got to the point where we're like, look, we're gonna do this and you're gonna do it for us. Like, I had to just tell them what they're gonna do and like, what their job is. Yeah, they just need you to wear like a crazy mask. Like, yeah. I need this, you better do it. So I was in George for three months and I needed a place to stay. Since me and Zia weren't married yet, um, we weren't gonna stay together until we got married. And I didn't have a lot of options. I didn't have anyone that I knew there. There wasn't really anyone that Zia knew that had the space for me to stay. So my only option was to stay at Airbnbs. And they're really affordable, they're cheap. Um, the people were super accommodating. But I wasn't able to find one for like the whole stay I was there. So I actually stayed, I actually stayed at like three or four different ones. And there was one time where I went to a different one and I came back to the, to the same one I'd been at before. But it, it was nice, they were all really close to town. Um, they were affordable, like I said, and the people were accommodating, and everyone was really nice. So obviously, Christian and I were not staying together at this point because we're not married. And so I would wake up from home every single morning to go and have breakfast with him. And every single night, he would drop me off at the taxi rank. And sometimes we'd walk to the taxi rank. And um, that was basically just our life, having breakfast together, having dinners together, and going home. And that was just about it. So guys, George is not a very big place, it's an average sized city, um, like a, sort of like a village, you're not really a village though, but like did you like it, did you enjoy your time in George? George, George was the best, I love George. It's like you said, it's not like a really big place, it's just like a nice cozy, like warm place, everyone's very inviting and lovely, 
and I, I really enjoyed all the different things we did, George. I think one of my favorites was going to church with you every Sunday. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best because I always like wished, like wanted Christian to go to church with me and like just have him sit next to me and hold my hand. <laughs> like, that's yeah, the best. and as we said before, like we're, we're members of the same church. And it was really nice to go there. Z has been going to that location since she was little. Mm. And so I, I, got, I got to meet all of her friends and family, family members there. <laughs> and they're all very welcoming. And you know, the, the first Sunday, it was crazy. Because <laughs> so, we didn't tell anyone that was coming. Yeah, so every, just... everyone was like in shock. Who's this? <laughs> Who's this man with you? <laughs> and nobody, I, I was overwhelmed. Yeah, and nobody at the time knew that I was seeing someone. So yeah. They kind of, I was kind of known as the baby of the... The church or something yeah. like that. All the, <laughs> all the makulus and mamas, they all came to me and were giving me hugs and like, and they were telling me to trick you, right? And <laughs> that she's really special and they loved her. So it was nice. So each Sunday we got to go together and yeah, I got to hold her hand and it was nice. So for Christian to really get to know me and to get to know um, George and specifically Timberly to the township that I'm from, I felt like he needed to use public transportation. <laughs> so I had to put him in that situation. And he did his <laughs> taxis and he went to the taxi rank too. So oh you know gosh, that was quite the experience. Because where I'm from in America, I don't, I, I had a car, I don't take public transportation very often. We have it, but we don't use it as much as South Africans do. Mm -hmm. So taking a taxi for the first time was quite the experience. <laughs> We'll save that for another video. <laughs> All the crazy experiences. <laughs> George is tame, by the way. Cape Town is crazy. Yeah. So yeah, we I, I took a taxi out to Timbala too. You know, to see Zia's hometown, where she's from, where she's born, and we we planned some activities to do out there when we were there. Did you love it? I loved it so much. It was, it's beautiful, but it's crazy. <laughs> no, actually, yeah, Timbala is super nice. So in our church, we have something we call Institute. Um, Institute is a Bible study. Yeah, Bible study. I think people basically. might call it Bible study, but it's we meet up every Wednesday. We met up every Wednesday night with people our, um, our age and peers, and we would like study the scriptures and and have fun, play games, and eat all the food. <laughs> <laughs> so our Institute teacher, our Institute, sorry, our Institute teacher in George was from Tembalitu. He's from Tembalitu. Um, she was from Tembalitu and we had to go there every Wednesday night and we would take a taxi. I would go and get Christian in town and we would take a taxi back to Tembalitu and go to an Institute. Yeah, so we would go there each night, I'd take a taxi and everyone was going home from work usually or from shopping. It was quite the experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we would do that and then at the evening Zia would go home with some of her friends and then um, some church members would drive me back to to my Airbnb at night. But yeah, it was a really nice experience, just getting to know more people and um, our institute was and our institute teacher was awesome. She's she a very is. nice mama. <laughs> Shout out to her if she's watching. <laughs> she's super funny, yeah, and nice to listen to. We would also take taxis out to Temple Two every Saturday to play soccer. I think I've said this before, but I, I, I'm a soccer player. I love soccer. And obviously, South Africans love soccer. Is addicted to soccer. Yeah, maybe I'm addicted. I, I maybe I helped set this up. <laughs> but yeah, we would go out to usually the high school, Temple Two, and play soccer mm -hmm. every Saturday with different people and different church members. Yeah. And it was really fun. And other people would be strangers sometimes because they would see like us playing just soccer and like. Yeah. They would just come and join it. It was really fun. It was like it wasn't like too competitive, but it was like also like nice and people were good and it was just fun and got to know people and see a white man play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> so those three months of being in George was actually really good. We got we gotta live like a somewhat normal life and just spend time together. And a part of that was going on dates. It's somewhat normal life. <laughs> <laughs> well instead of long distance, that's not normal. We actually go on dates together, and it was really nice. I gotta go with this really cute girl. <laughs> um, so one of the dates that I really loved was the ice cream dates which we, we usually had was like Friday, McDonald's ice cream, <laughs> fancy Friday stuff. Dates and we'll go on walks and have ice cream. So this one time, we went to buy ice cream at McDonald's and we went for a walk, and we saw this really nice park, and we went there, and only to find out. There was a cemetery like right next to the park. Like, is this little kids' park with like swings and slides? And there's just graves like right next to it. <laughs> Isn't that creepy? 
and like and benches for people to eat and have food right next to the cemetery. Yeah, so right like, we're like, well, we're here. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we're not hunted. <laughs> Yeah, so it was really fun. We ate our ice cream and then we played tag with each other, <laughs> like little kids. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys know ooh, tag. Oh yeah, I guess like, you we call it we call it tag, right, guys? Tag. <laughs> yeah, so we play that and just different games and Zia's fast, but I'm faster. So that was one of the dates we went on. Another fun one we went was we went to like this little like arcade place where we did like bowling and we did mini golf and pool or billiards. I don't know what what you guys call that there. Too. Yeah, so what, what was your favorite of those three? Because I wrecked you, I played pool, so I'm gonna say that was my favorite. Um, I, I, was, there. I think like, I was going easy on you. That, that's... No, 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 you're not going easy at all. <laughs> I was wrecking you. Yeah, it was her first time playing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, she's pretty good, she's a natural, but that's just how Zia is, she picks up things quick. <laughs> I think bowling, you're not quite no. as good at. I think you, you have too much power, but not enough accuracy, mm -hmm. so it's always going off the edge. The mini golf, we were just crazy. I think we just tried different shots, and I don't know. I think I was better at that than you. <laughs> you don't, you, you're not, you're not very good at hitting it soft. <laughs> you want <laughs> nail it. <laughs> that was a fun little date. It's gonna be crazy, and yeah. yeah. The other uh, date that we went on, there was my favorite in George was at the botanical, botanical gardens, gardens, yeah, botanical. Gardens. <laughs> Got this girl. <laughs> Got this girl. Um, we went to the botanical gardens and we took nice pictures and um, we went to watch the bird. There's a bird watching area. area. Yeah, it's like right over a little pond. A lake or something. No, yeah. Not really a lake. Yeah, it's like a little like pond. A pond. Yeah. Yeah, so that was probably one of the best things. Yeah. Not really the best, it's, but it was super nice and calm. Yeah, it's super pretty. There's lots of flowers and trees and um, there's like nice lookouts. And I remember on the way back, I don't know if you remember this. On the way back, we were walking back to my Airbnb, and then I was dropped the off, taxi rink. But this car drove past us, and then he drove past us again, and then he came the third time, and we were kind of freaking out. So we like took a turn, and like we're trying to get away, and he followed us, and he pulled out. And then okay, he... guys, can can I can I talk to you? And then he came out of his car with the camera. Yeah, he's like, can I take a picture of you guys? You guys are really beautiful, and we're like, we're like what the heck? <laughs> this is so random. But we're like. And we're like, yeah, sure. He's like, yeah, it's spring, don't worry, or whatever. Yeah, and then he offered us a free photo shoot as well. He's like, I'm afraid that you guys can come back at the, at the body car garden. I'm gonna meet you guys there at this time. We exchanged numbers with him, and it's like, um, we can do a photo shoot, but we're like, we don't, we don't have money for that because we didn't plan, like, we didn't budget anything. Yeah. And um, for photo shoot, regarding that, we're dealing with like paperwork as well. Mm -hmm. So, we're like, we don't have money for that. And it's like, no, it's for free. You guys can come. And and like, we, we thought about it, but we didn't end up going. He's he's kind of he's kind of weird. Yeah, I was but uncomfortable. I'm I'm not I'm not like I, I have so many photo shoots already lined up. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, I, I don't really like pictures taken. Zia is very photogenic and she loves pictures. I do love pictures, but I don't like people. I think I think I was the person like who taking pictures of me. Yeah, I think I was the person who ended up not going because or not wanting to do it. But yeah, that's just a weird little weird thing. Uh, I think for me, one of my favorite dates was we went to a rugby game one night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of that was fun. yeah, one of our peop the people in the church they like are on the coaching team for mm -hmm. the local team in George, and so he gave us free tickets and we went with another couple, and I saw Zia's <laughs> <laughs> crazy side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Zia is a very calm and quiet person. And then you put her in a sports game, she's screaming, she's yelling. I stand up. Yeah, what's, what's your defense for that? <laughs> she has no defense. <laughs> but yeah, it was really nice. But yeah, I'm not like that though. I'm, I don't scream, I don't, I, I'm not like that. But like when I'm watching sports, I just get straight into it. It's just me. <laughs> so yeah, we got some nice drinks and some food. Uh, I think the team ended up like getting their butts kicked though. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was a whooping, but nice, just like it was cold. We got cuddle in a little blanket and hold hands and see yeah. Zia's crazy side. Yeah. While all of this is going on, um, while we were going on dates and exploring George and playing soccer and going to church, me and Zia were planning to get engaged since we only had 90 days. And I took this beautiful girl ring shopping. Mm -hmm. That's quite the experience, wasn't it? Was. She she knew what she wanted, 
It was not a long process. She knew what she wanted. Like everybody that knows me knows me that I'm a very like simple person. I yeah. like very simple things. But like elegant. So yeah, but my ring tells this my ring tells the story. Like it tells I feel like it tells of who I am really. Uh huh. Yeah. And just like the simple elegant and with the rose gold as well, the band. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll show that. Um, and so finally I had picked up the ring, I'd gone by myself. Mm -hmm. And before I had the game. Before I popped the question, before I got down on one knee, mm -hmm. I had to ask Zia's mom for permission. <laughs> probably the scariest. And how did that go? It's probably the scariest experience of my life. I'm so nervous. Do you remember how nervous I was? Yeah, I do. So, you guys, before before Christian gets into it, Christian never knew my mom until he um, we knew that we were getting engaged for sure. Because like I was not allowed to date. I was not allowed yeah. to bring a boy back home, and mom didn't want to know any boy. So. We had to like make sure that this is happening. We're getting we yeah. were serious about each other, and so Christian had to get my mom for the first time. And the first time he met my mom, he was asking her for permission to marry me. Yeah. So I remember we went to. Uh, well, what happened was I met at the botanical garden with George, mm -hmm. and you and your mom came, and so I'm busy introducing myself. <laughs> And also planning to ask, ask her for permission. It was, it was very intimidating. But I think what broke the ice was I'd actually been to Sada, which was in Eastern Cape, like yeah, this town. It's where my mom grew up and where my mom attended she, school. Yeah, she was born there, right? And yeah, she was born there as well. So Christian knew that place pretty well. Yeah, it's like I kind of broke the ice with that and talked about um, Sada and what that was like. And I feel like that made her really comfortable. Yeah, and you guys had a lot in common regarding that. Yeah, and then she, at the time, I had been living in, in Texas, and she just started asking me questions about Texas. <laughs> she does investigation. She's a very yeah. smart mom. I like, she's super yeah. smart. But yeah, she's very nice. She's very easy to talk to. Mm -hmm. And I think she was a little bit scared about my accent. I remember she, you told me that she was scared that she wouldn't really <laughs> understand me. But I feel like I, I can accommodate people. I can kind of slow my voice down and... Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, I don't know. So that happened, and then I asked your mom for permission. And I think she she, she grilled me for a while. She asked me some serious questions like, yeah. why, like why do you want to marry my daughter? And like, are you serious about this? Are you doing this because your friends are doing it? And like, Christian's like, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't serious about her. Yeah, and, and like, she... I wouldn't go through all of this. And then she was making sure that like, I knew I was doing a lot of paperwork and that I had a plan to take care of her like um, financially and temporally. And that can be all of her needs, yeah. and that I would be a good supportive husband to would treat her right. And so I think I, I did my best to reassure, and I got your mom's blessing to. Yeah. Ask her. It wasn't easy. No. But <clears throat> excuse me, you did well. Yeah. Yeah, she loves me now. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, mother figure. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> so Zia was grilling me after that. She wanted to know how I was going to propose, when I was going to propose, how I was going to do it. I wouldn't give anything away. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to do anything like too crazy fancy or like out there or like in front of people. I wanted it to be like a nice romantic private experience just me and her. And so I developed a perfect plan. At least I think it's perfect. <laughs> I like perfect. I love it. So I remember each night I, when I would go to drop her off at the taxi rink, we would pass by like, this really big church building that had like, these beautiful grounds and gardens. And we would walk past it every night, and it's all lit up and it's like really beautiful, and there's like nice little private areas you could go to. Yeah, so it was an all white, nice building, yeah. and super nice trees, and very beautiful place. Yeah, so each night I would go and I'd drop you off. We walk past that building, and then I'd walk past it. And then it was time for me to drop you off one evening. And I said, Zia, follow me. And I tried to like take her on a little detour to go to like explore the gardens. He's like, Christian, I need to go home. Christian, I need to go home. And I had to basically just like drag her. <laughs> I was pulling her arm, like, just trust me, just it's come with me. No, it's because guys, I had I had a curfew at home. I had a curfew to be at home at a certain time. And my mom was gonna be really upset with me. I had to be home at a certain time. And it was almost the time for me to be home when Christian was like doing things like, it's time, to go home. <laughs> and I was like, Zia, just trust me, just come with me. And then finally she was like, all right, I'll come with you. And so I, I walked with her and took this little grove of trees on the grass. And I said, Zia, take off your shoes. And 
<laughs> so she fought that too. And um, we took off our shoes and we were just um, in our dancing. dancing. And I pulled up my, my phone and I played a song by Ed Sheeran called Perfect. Perfect. And it's Zia's favorite song. And in the lyrics, it talks about how, um, you can say the lyrics better than me. Um, we were dancing barefoot, um, listening to my favorite song with you in my arms. And so I played that song. I had one in my ear, one in hers, and I held her close to me. And we, we danced to that song, and I just kind of mouthing it to her and just singing along. And I, I think at that point you kind of knew what was going to happen. Huh? No, you're so cute. I love you. And so I got down, and I pulled the ring out of my hand, out of my pocket. And I got down, and I said, Zia, I can't imagine my life without you. And I said, will you marry me? And you freaked out, huh? <laughs> so that day, I thought Christian was just being um, silly and being annoying. Just Christian the being usual. Christian. The usual Christian. All people that know him. <laughs> they would testify. Um, so he took me to the detour. I was like, this is better be a good thing because I need to be home. And when he knelt down and, and asked me to marry him, I was like, wait, what? Are you serious? I screamed and I ran. <laughs> and looked at him, looked at him from a distance, and I went back. I was like, "Are you serious?" And he said, "Yeah." And we were both crying, and, and I said yes. And I did say yes. And I, I think I just broke into tears at that point. I was just so happy, and just I just expressed my love to my heart to her, and how much I loved her, and how much she meant to me. And I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. And it was a really beautiful moment. And just me and her, I feel like there was no one else in the world at that point. And then I, we walked home and you, like, it took a while to get used to that, the fact that we were engaged. Because mm -hmm. the next day when I saw him, I was so awkward. Oh, she was super awkward. I was like, <laughs> so awkward and I had this ring on my finger. Like, yeah. What the heck? And I wasn't so even looking. We're, we're engaged. <laughs> we're engaged, Christian. I'm like, Zia, I'm still the same person. Just be the same. <laughs> and I wouldn't even look in the eyes. I'm like... Oh, no. <laughs> I think it just got real. Yeah, it was so nice. Mm. So throughout our engagement, the next two months, we went through all of those, yeah, all the paperwork and all the processes of home affairs and immigration. So we could we could get married legally, and we had to order um, get Zia's visa in order so that she could come with me to America because so that we could stay together after getting married. And August 1st, 2019, we got married. And we've never been apart since. Yeah, we tied the knot. Too. We tied the knot. Love you. So yeah, guys. Anyways, yeah, ne? <laughs> And then I was like, Can I do it? No! <laughs> ah! I can't get up! I'm seriously stuck! Consequences of your choice right there. Are you done so we can record? Yeah.